So you need to know how to load and save structure blocks in Minecraft. Well, luckily, they're actually not as tough as they may seem. So first things first, you're going to have to give yourself a structure box, so slash give, player name, structure block, just like that. And you'll have this block that looks pretty peculiar, I will say, they do look kind of weird, but they're nothing to be worried about. So let's go ahead and see how we can use this. So first, let's look at some properties of the structure block. So when you place a structure block down, you're going to be greeted with a menu that says data. We will not be covering the data mode of the structure block today. However, the other three modes, save, load, and corner, we will. So the first thing we're going to cover is actually loading a new structure. So actually, you do need to save a structure to create a file path that structures will be contained in your save folder. So to do that, all we got to do is do this, save, uh, we can create a one by one by one structure, name it our uh, test structure. There we go, we have the structure, we can click save, and now we have Minecraft test as a structure block. So now if we do this, we can go over here and we can go to save, we can go to load. And so say we want to have this in our save, so we can click save, and then we can go over here and go to load, and we can load it, and as you can see, it'll copy the structure over. Okay, so that's now saved in our save file. So if we go over to the save file, so your save file is going to be connected into your .minecraft saves and then the name of your world. So for this is structure underscore tutorial. And then in this, you will see this file here, the generated file. Open that and you'll see a Minecraft file. Open that, you'll see a structures file. And this is where your structure block goes. So say, for example, you want to use the uh, ender chest structure. In this structures folder, you'll go ahead and paste your the structure block file that I have provided or someone else has provided. And that will then make it in the save. So now, um, so just so you guys know, this is the path you will have. I'll put uh, it on screen right now and I will also put it in the description for the path so you guys can always remember which path it's in. So now if we reload the world, uh, we'll get a little bit of lag because it's loading up that structure block, but everything should be fine. And so what we do now is we get ourselves our structure block, so slash give structure block, and here we have it. We're gonna go to our load file, and this one we're gonna go to Minecraft colon. So this is always going to be for whatever structure block you get. But then what follows is the name of the file without the .mbt. So there is the enter chest. So if we click done, nothing will happen. But we click load, we'll see a box show up, but nothing in it. Click load one more time. And we have this with all of the items inside these shulker boxes. Um, complete. The ender chest will be empty because that's player data, but everything here is actually stored in that structure block file. So that's pretty cool. And that's how you uh, move structure blocks from tutorials that I'll give and other people will give. So pretty cool. Let's go ahead and move on to how to save them. So structure blocks have a weird property where uh, they're a little bit wonky depending on what. Uh, quadrant in the world you're in. So this means positive X or negative X, positive Z or negative Z, um, and the Y value shouldn't really matter. Uh, but obviously if it's too high up, it can't go past world limit and it can't go below world limit either. But for example, uh, say we want to save something here. So we're going to call this um, tutorial. Okay. And say we have a relative position, uh, just one above whatever we're building. And say we have a structure size of uh, three, three, and three. Now you can't do negatives in this, but you can in the relative position. So keep that in mind. So done. And you'll see it actually loads to the positive X and positive Z. It will always go in the positive X and the positive Z direction. So 
if we took this uh, in a different quadrant, so that's, that's the wrong quadrant, but over in this quadrant here, we'll have negative in one of the quadrants, and we do the same thing, you'll see it still goes in the positive x and positive z. Okay, so say we actually wanted to save some sort of contraption. So say this, for example, uh, what we'll do is we'll put down our default structure block. So for us, we know it's in the positive Z and positive X direction. So we know placing it in the neg most negative um, of either will be our best bet. So here is probably the easiest spot to do so. Then we can go to our save uh, portion here and we can name it our hopper clock. One oh one. Okay, hopper clock one oh one. And so now we have a structure that's ready to be uh, edited. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to save that stuff. So we're going to want to go uh, in the x direction, which is I believe this way. Yes, two, one, two, three blocks. We're going to go one block up and then in this direction we're going to want to go one two three four five six blocks okay so there you go and you're going to click save and you want to click the all caps save so this one over here and that as you can see will actually create a little box around our contraption here now say for example our structure is way too large and we don't want to do that counting um, what we can do is we can do a structure corner block so say we want to have the corner over here um, put it one block above because it will go to the bottom corner click on till it goes to corner and you're going to name this the same thing as the actual structure just like that so we have a corner block with the correct name hopper clock 101 and now instead of doing these manually we click detect and as you can see uh, it will actually detect that one go to the bottom corner and go to the upper corner of this one so keep that in mind it will not be one block above it'll actually do a one 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 position but you can easily change that by zero one zero and as you can see it moves it by one over because it's the relative position not the actual size okay so say we're ready to save this structure what we can do is click save okay and the easiest way to copy it over in the same world is to control middle click which will keep nbt in that block Then we're here we can place it and we can click on one more mode and click load and as you can see uh oh we have something wrong here so that's something to keep in mind uh, I learned that today if you have something moving in a structure that is bad because it will save the exact moment that you click save uh, so that's pretty good to know uh, so now if we oh, put this structure block wherever and we click to load it will load just fine okay and then um, if you go to the file portion, as you can see, we actually have our test and our hopper clock 101 in our uh, structures folder. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, guys, that is basically how to use structure blocks. I hope you found this video uh, useful. I hope it wasn't too long, um, but I wanted to make sure that I covered the topic with uh, the amount of coverage that it needed. But hopefully you guys will... Um, be able to use structure blocks now a couple quick notes before the video ends uh, structure sizes are limited to a 48 block max of the structure size and uh, that's pretty important if you are going to be saving a large structure i recommend using a mod called lightmatica and i will be including either lightmaticas or uh, mbt files for my future tutorials of my future builds because I find them to be a lot better because you can put them directly into your testing world so you can mess with them in your own testing world and not someone else's. Alright, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye